Hi there, we're back. Uh, it's the beginning of February and we're just about to start going through our budget hearings. And you're joining us inside the dome of the state capitol. Uh, this dome, the building was started in 1860 as the Civil War was just about to begin and finished in 1874. And actually, this was the same period of time that the Capitol Dome in Washington was being built. As many of you remember, President Lincoln thought it was very important that we continue with the construction even in the midst of a civil war. And it was, of course, very symbolic. Architecture has lots of messages for us. This building is a terrific message for Californians that people, when this state began at a time of immense struggle, the biggest struggle in the history of this country, in the middle of the Civil War, the end of slavery, uh, a horrible institution that we now look back at and think, how could that have ever happened in a country that proclaims freedom as the most important thing and that all people are created equal. But the architecture is important and it tells us about the trials and the aspirations of generations that came before us. So we too have the same responsibilities, not as dramatic, um, and we can be thankful for that. But as we go through another year of budget cuts where we're looking at potentially having to cut the school year by three weeks if we don't get new revenue, as in our budget subcommittee we look at continued cuts to the social safety net. And at the same time we're cutting, we're trying to make it more efficient so that people can be sustain themselves to get jobs and get employed and take care of their family, which is what we all want, uh, and not just entitlement so people never get to the point where they can sustain themselves. And that's what most Californians want, whether they have a job or don't have a job. They want to be successful and have a job and raise their family. So when we look at this architecture, I think it's important that we remember that this is a physical architecture and it's very symbolic, but there's all kinds of relationships and a wonderful metaphor about how we support one another and how we continue to make a commitment to make California the amazing and great place that we have benefited from, from those previous generations. Lincoln famously said that the mythic cord that connects us, this generation, with previous generations and their sacrifice, that's what the interior of this building reminds me at this period of time is it all holds together, but we have to all be responsible, responsible for that architecture in a more meaningful sense in many ways in our relationships with one another in our government. Otherwise, the inside of this building wouldn't sustain itself for future generations. So we'll be back, but I think this is a terrific place. Very few people get to see this part of the Capitol, but it's an important part.